Welcome to a uh, new video on my Fish Technique Hydraulics set which I have uh, extended with some um, computerization and mechanicization like a screw pump with uh, sensors um, then a light switch to control um, this well um, band or whatever you can call it uh, with now um, a cable guide because it's hard to bend um, the USB cable which comes from the laptop on which I with which I control things and um, lastly uh, also um, this extension from this uh, hydraulic piston to make this pivot working and that is what I did last time um, but I need more water into it so with all these um, additions let's see how far I can get to get this working and to improve also this um, because this has to be parallel and then I mean this part and that part with the motor so let's see how far we can get in getting things to really work to start with um, this axle is not quite horizontal if I look uh, very close to the tabletop then this is higher than this so I need to do a little modification which is um, not as easy as it looks so let me take a piece of it out Okay, then this part out. And then hopefully this will work better. So put it in again. Or not. Another strange thing is that it doesn't quite reach the tabletop. Um, let me lift the motor a bit, and that helps. So, this motor is, and then I'm talking about the weight of the motor, is heavier and lifts it up. So, I need support here under the motor to lift it and then it is horizontal but that's another thing I need to have equal distance here and right here so I intend, I intend to do that with some um, smaller bars And I can put this one right here. And while I create support for here, I can I have to put something in here so that it has equal height. So let's find some material to accomplish that. Right, so now I have uh, some changes here and here um, in order to stabilize the whole thing. So, using the FT Diagnostics, let's run. Uh, motor 2. 
that's good and it orange freely so nothing to complain about that one um, which brings to the next um, topic and this camera is not quite as stable where it comes to setting up unfortunately but this should do and we have the piston uh, so when I lift this piston and push it you can see this move a little bit but by far not enough and the problem is this level of water is by no means uh, the level it should have so where's the water gone and now I have to refill it somehow and then comes a catch because I have to fill it from here because this is entirely going here and according to the manual I should fill it from my house so let's take the water and fill up all right I have used a simple sauce for uh, catching water out of the tube this tube or hose actually um, then a, a glass with demineralized water right here which I sucked into this piston so now I'm very curious what will happen if I now press the piston yeah Uh, considering this movement not really spectac spectacular so I have to remove the flexibility from here um, next thing I'm wondering if I should suck some water into that piston and into this piston Um, but let's first try to remove some flexibility here see if that really makes a difference right a little modification to the um, hose holder on this side shift it more inside then I replaced this small part by a building block and then we get this result still not spectacular and what I see is that for some reason that piston is going more up and down than this one um, so let me take this off the wheel um, where I should say that this is yeah it turns but not quite smoothly so let's now without any resistance do it or friction see that is a better result still not entirely enthusiastic but that means that this uh, pivot has too much friction oops there goes the light um, yeah this is too much friction um, so how uh, to change that one 
That's a very good one. Didn't think of it, but anyway, um, that shows that it does work. Um, still not the entire um, piston filled. Um, but I can for now leave with that. Um, yeah, let's also uh, check on this other part, which is, of course, the motorized part. Alright, then uh, the mechanical stuff and computerized part. So with this screw pump um, or Archimedes screw um, lifting the piston uh, between uh, these two sensors then as a result of this this one goes up and down causing uh, a light beam to be interrupted which activates this motor for this band so, going here, starting. And why is this? Because this is a new version of the driver. I think. Yeah, I should do this with Python 2. And then things do work. And this one is slowly going up. This piston is blocking. And now not anymore. So it has a delay because of the suction, um, which causes it to respond slow. Can I show something? Yes, I can. Like this. This is being lifted again. That one is being brought down, and there it goes. Oh, that's a nice one. So it's considerable speed. But it works. So that's nice. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, connecting this platform with the interface. Now separate parts, although connected by wire, um, which means electrical wire, not uh, um, drive by wire or steer by wire. Anyway, um, this proves that things are nice and then by hand I still have to do this part where the pivot uh, disc or whatever you call it still has to uh, change because of the friction it has. Mm, ouch. So with these uh, changes, um, I say thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, which is very much appreciated. 
You can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Uh, please show your support by making a donation um, via either PayPal or IBAN, which is European banking, or become a patron. And depending on the pledge you make, have your name mentioned um, or become a co-producer, which including having your name mentioned. Um, this is obviously going to be continued, mainly because of this part and maybe other parts as well. Um, for now, have a nice day, stay safe, bye bye.